Avengers. Avengers Infinity War is coming to theaters near you in a week. In a week, April 27th, the Avengers Infinity War is coming to you. Marvel has taken over this uh, culture. Really, just what human beings expect from an action movie, expect from an entertainment movie. I mean, Marvel is taking over the world. Wakanda forever. Black Panther forever. I mean, it, it's... It's it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, it's Pixar at its heyday, if you can even imagine. All right. <clears throat> Anyways, um, how does that have anything to do with nursing news? Um, because a Thor's hammer has been seen used in surgery. And I'm not talking about in the movies. I'm talking about real-life surgery. A couple of doctors, surgeons in Australia have decided instead of their regular hammer when they're doing these orthopedic surgeries, they are going to use, yes, Thor's hammer itself. So don't hate, appreciate Thor's hammer and surgery. Yes, the tool used is called a surgical hammer, and they typically use this in large joint orthopedics like hip and knee replacements. This is the real thing, and I'm going to show you the picture. Surgeons in Sydney, Australia have been using this custom-built surgical hammer built in the image of Majonal... Jeez and Lord. Used in that image, the image of Thor's hammer's name. You look at it, you try to read it, don't hate me. In actual surgeries, it was used for the first time in March of this year in Wagga Wagga Hospital, that's the greatest name ever, after being constructed by a biomedical engineering firm in Sydney. I love these kind of stories. Just, you know, that's the difference between walking into a surgery with a, a surgeon who, you know, does his job, is great at his job, but is there because it's a job, and then you walk into a surgery knowing that your surgeon has these custom-made tools and you can tell that he's an actual human being and he's not a robot that's going to do your surgery with no empathy and feeling. I just love that kind of things because it really helps to humanize the people who take care of us. And a lot of the times in hospitals, these days we can just be, you know, robots. I am here to pass you your meds. I am here to break your leg. I mean, fix your leg. When you see these things happen in hospital, where it's personal, you know, custom-made hammer for the surgeon, he cares, he's a human, I can relate with him, I am happy with him doing my surgery, let's get to it. It's the little things. It's the little things.